Hello and welcome to sunny South Sea, just outside Portsmouth in Hampshire. And we're gonna take a lovely walk all the way down the beautiful seafront here today. So let's get going. So we're currently at the top side of South Sea which is known as Eastney and we're going to be making our way all the way down to Clarence Pier which is quite a few miles away and along the way I'm going to be showing you all the historical sites along the route. Now if you just take a look to the right hand side there that is what is known as Eastney Fort. Now it was built in 1861 and it's a defence against the French. And just over here we have Eastney Barracks, which are run by the Royal Marines, and the now private houses that were converted over in 1995. I'd love to live there. And then just a bit further down, we have also what is known as Eastney Fort, but this is the West Fort. Again, built in 1861. Now this place here is fairly new. It's called the Coffee Cup. And as you can see, it's very, very popular. But it's a great place to stop for a coffee halfway down the South Sea seafront. So if you're walking all the way from the top, it'd be a great place to have a sandwich or a coffee, or even just something like a cake or something nice and sweet. Just take a look at this beautiful view on the beach here. I'm just going to pan you around so you can see how beautiful that beach is. Now the beach is not sand, it's actually pebbles. But it's not horrible shingle which hurts your feet. This is nice soft pebbles which are very, very pleasant to walk on. And you can also see straight across to the Isle of Wight over there in the distance. So we've just arrived into what is known as Lumps Fort and you can just see some lovely beach houses on the right there again and there's also some on the left hand side. This fort was built around 1805 and later in its life it was used as a semaphore station but it's now a beautiful rose garden and model village. So let's head inside and I'll show you what the rose garden looks like. You can just see the old fort walls here on the left and the right hand side. And we're heading through the, what would have been the front wall and the defence. And inside is what unfolds as a large courtyard. Like I said, it's now converted into a beautiful rose garden. And it's very popular with many people in the area. And just on the right hand side, behind those trees, we have a model village. There's also a crazy golf course just behind those trees in front of us there. Let's head through the rose garden and out the other side and I'll show you the back end of the fort. So again, Lump's Fort was used to defend against the French who were regularly invading Britain back then. So we had many forts around Portsmouth. Okay, so let's head through the back end of the fort here you can just see the wall again there now through these gates is now a park and there's a large lake just here which is called canoe lake and also in this site we have a children's fairground a large playground 
and many coffee shops and food outlets as well. But you can see the uh, swan boats there as well on the lake. So this lake you can actually go crabbing in because it's actually filled up by a, a culvert which feeds it from the sea so it's actually salt water. So you can go crabbing in there. You'll see further down there's lots of crab buckets next to the lake. So we've just made our way out of the park. The lake is just to our right over there. And we're now making our way back down the seafront. And again, you can see various coffee shops and cafes and restaurants and things on the seafront here, which are very, very popular. There's even an Indian food hut there, look. Fish and chips, sandwiches, all your usual coffees and things like that and cakes and fresh soft drinks. Nice little seating area on the beach there. Just look how glorious that beach looks and the how aqua the sea is as well. So we're now approaching what is known as South Parade Pier. And if you remember, if you watched Mr Bean, the one where he has the baby, I think it was called Mind the Baby Mr Bean, that was actually filmed right here on this beach. Now the opening shot for Mr Bean started here on the beach where he was looking for directions for the uh, fun fair, which, we'll, which is actually Clarence Pier, where we'll end up later on in this video. So we're now approaching the South Parade Pier, which was built in 1875. Yeah. And would you believe it, it's actually been destroyed three times by fire. But it keeps coming back and they keep rebuilding it. And it's just undergone a nice big renovation as well. And they've, used, they've used some really nice uh, pastel colours on the pier. It recently opened, I think it was 2017, after it was renovated for probably the 50th time. It's just full of amusements and there's a few fairground rides on there as well. Lots of cafes, bars, fish and chips, things like that. But it was actually used back in the day for Isle of Wight ferries. You used to be able to catch a ferry from the end of here, it was like a jetty. And there used to be a large theatre on the end as well, I'm not sure if that's still there today. But again, here you can see the beach just to the side of the uh, pier. So we just made our way a bit further down the seafront and we're approaching what is known as the Pyramids which is a, a leisure centre which I think was built around in the 80s. But it's very popular with the residents of Portsmouth. So we've made our way onto the headland again back to the seafront which is at the back end of the Pyramids centre and you can just see one of the lovely uh, shelters there which again are featured in many adverts on TV, you may recognise them. now approach the site of South Sea Castle. I'm just going to pan you around and you can just see the uh, pyramids again there. And I'm going to pan you around and show you this beautiful view. You can just see South Parade Pier right in the distance there. So this is South Sea Castle on the right hand side. 
Now it was built in 1544 and it was built under order by Henry VIII. Yes, the famous Henry VIII. Now you can just see on this wall, I'll just show you this board here. It explains a bit more information about it. And a nice picture of uh, Henry VIII there. Not very flattering, I must say. And again, it was built for fear of the uh, French attack on Portsmouth, with it being a, a rather popular port back in the day and very important to the UK. And also here is where Henry VIII would have witnessed the famous Mary Rose sinking just on my left out in the sea there it sank in 1545 and he witnessed it from that headland on top of the castle there and we're just making our way around the back of the castle and you can just see a lovely lighthouse there which is obviously uh, a more modern add-on to the castle there just check out that view so let's head inside the castle now it's free of charge to enter here and normally you can walk all around the ramparts on the top and get a really nice view near the lighthouse as well but unfortunately due to the conditions that are, we're currently going through it's actually closed today but the courtyard is open and again as you can see there's plenty of shops and food outlets and I think they normally do some music in here as well. But lots to see and do anyway if you fancy a nice breakaway in the shade or from the horrible wind coming off the sea there. So okay let's make our way out now and we're going to head further down the seafront. We're still making our way down towards Clarence Pier. Now just further down they're currently constructing an old uh, what I would call a landing craft. I'm not sure of the exact history on this because there's no boards currently on display with it being brand new but they are currently constructing a canopy that they can put this boat underneath and not put it on display. Now just to my right over here is what is known as South Sea Common. Now as far as I'm told this land is all owned by the MOD. So they can't build on it. It's actually used, it was used for defences really. So to stop if any troops invaded we had plenty of room to keep them back by using these fields here. It's now a lovely park area and they hold regular concerts on that field. And over here, just across the road, is the famous Blue Reef Aquarium. It's a bit like a sea life centre. Now this monument here is the Portsmouth Naval Memorial and I think it is dedicated to all the various wars that have happened throughout history with names of the fallen on the boards there. It's a rather nice monument here. It'll take you all week to read all them names which is a shame. Okay so we're heading a bit further down and you can see here there's more food outlets just on the left here. And again, we have one of those beautiful shelters that I think were featured in the Beagle Street advert, the Talking Beagle. And again, a very popular beach on the left here, and we're just making our way towards Clarence Pier. You can just see it there in the distance. Now, Clarence Pier is not a pier as we know it, where it jets out into the sea. It's actually more oblong shaped, and it's flat with the flush with the land there at the side, but it's quite a wide pier anyway. And then just here on the left is the Admiral Nelson or the uh, Battle of Trafalgar Memorial. There you go, you can just see that board there. And uh, an anchor there. And we're now approaching the hovercraft station here. And I'll, I'll put you through one of the windows in a second. But from here you can get a hovercraft all the way over to the Isle of Wight. Now I think this is just passenger service only. They don't look big enough for any vehicles. 
They do have the white link ferries if you want to take your car over, which you can catch from further down in Portsmouth. I'll just put you through this window here so you can see. It's the uh, the landing area there where it comes up onto the beach. Now, unfortunately, one just left before I got there with the camera, which is a shame because I'd love to have shown you it. But if you want to uh, have a little day trip across to the Isle of Wight, then this is where you would do it here. It takes 10 minutes according to that sign. But again, just on the way to Clarence Pier, you can see all the lovely food outlets here. Lots and lots of choice. All sorts of food here. And like I mentioned earlier when I was talking about the uh, Mr. Bean episode, the Mind the Baby Mr. Bean. If you remember, he uh, put the baby in the uh, Postman Pat van. Well, he went on all the rides and the van kept going and going and going. He put about 50 quid in it just to keep the uh, baby amused in the Postman Pat van. Well, that's coming up on our left very shortly. That's where it would have been. I'll show you when we get further down. But here again, we have lots of cafes and bars and restaurants in this building on the left here. Now, where that bus is there, that's where the Postman Pat van was in the Mr. Bean episode. Now the pier opened in 1861 and again it was for ferry services to the Isle of Wight. And we're just making our way. I've just noticed as well they've got Wimpy here. Now I've not seen Wimpy for many, many, many years. I didn't even know they still existed. Nice to know that they've got one here. And uh, that building there on the right uh, used to be a ride from what I remember as a kid. Like I said, now the pier is uh, a giant fairground which is very popular today with the weather and there's the uh, I think it's called the Solent Wheel which is a, a recent addition I think they only added that a couple of years ago the the fairground used to be open you used to be able to just walk straight in and it was a token ride system but not anymore it's all fenced off and I think it's mainly due to Covid but they've fenced it all off now and it's a pay once ride all day admission type of thing there's plenty of rides in there, including a brand new roller coaster, which I'll show you in a second. But over here, we've got a crazy golf course as well. I think it's Treasure Island or something like that. And I'll just take you over here, and I'll show you through the fence. Now, if you remember again in the Mr. Bean episode, when he rode on the roller coaster and he fell asleep on it, well, that was where this roller coaster is now. Now, it's not this exact roller coaster. This is a brand new version of that ride. But it stood in the exact spot of the previous one, which was only, I think it was removed a couple of years ago. So we're going to make our way down the, what I would call the boardwalk through the centre of the pier. So the pier is to my left. And again, you've got lots and lots of amusements and fish and chip shops and coffee shops and bars and various things. I think I'm actually going to stop for a coffee myself just at the end of here. And then we'll wrap up the video because I'm then going to proceed on into Portsmouth which will be my second video. So stick around for that one later on. We're just approaching the end of what is known as Clarence Pier now. And I think I'm going to stop here for a coffee. I'll just show you a bit further down. There's now a, um, a Brewer's Fair or a pub on the right there as well, which is a fairly recent addition. So thank you for joining us here on a lovely walk through South Sea and all it has to offer. What an absolutely beautiful day it's been as well. So on this a bit on the chilly side, but only slightly. If you enjoyed the video, please like the video. And please, if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel and any comments you have put them down below in the video and also any stories you have if you've ever been to South Sea before please comment down below but I'll see you in the next video where we're going to head all the way through historic Portsmouth and the harbours and all the beautiful forts down this way so I'll see you in the next one bye for now